Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. I wanted to do a super extra Valentine's Day makeup look for you all. It has lip gloss, it's got face products. I started out just with my foundation, my eyebrows, and um, obviously I did primer and then powder. That's the only thing I started out with so I do this tutorial on my eyeshadow and on my face and my blush and everything like that. So if you're new here, my name's Karina. I do makeup, lifestyle, fashion, vlogs, hauls, Pretty much anything that uh, you can find here on YouTube, I will try to do. So if you enjoy those sorts of videos and you want to join our family, we are finally over 300 subscribers and I'm so, so happy. So we have 300 people who have joined the fam. Make sure to subscribe down below because I would love to keep growing. And that's pretty much all I have. If you want to see how I get this like super extra glittery look using some ColourPop items, then make sure to keep on watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and let's just get on into it. Okay, so first I'm going to take the Say I Do by ColourPop and I'm just going to take it on a nice fluffy brush and pack that onto the lid of my eye. Just making sure to fully cover the base you want like a nice good rosy pink base to go on your eyelid see how it just gives that like nice pink look and then we're gonna go ahead and make it nice and dramatic once the base is finished we're gonna go in with just like a little bit of a peachy tone before we really get into like the deeper shades so this is the shade wait for it by ColourPop and then I'm just going to take it on like a fluffy brush. This is the JH32 brush. And I'm just going to put that into the crease of my eye. Just to kind of deepen up the crease a little bit. I think the important thing is when you're doing one of these like romantic or playful like pink looks whether it's for Valentine's Day or just for another occasion you just want to use colors in similar ranges but ones that really complement your eye and the color and your skin and everything so I'm using a little bit paler ones first to build up the base before I go in with the deeper shades that will really make this into like a darker smoky eye so we're just building it on to the outer corner and into the crease, uh, building it slightly towards the center of the eye. So once that's done, I'm actually going to go into the Jaclyn Hill Ring the Alarm Shadows. I think I'm going to take the shade Alert. And then I'm going to take that same brush that we just went in with, the JH32 brush. We want to pack it on where we had just put that uh, PG shade. It's a little bit of an orangey shade, which is fine. So we're going to go in with a little bit of a deeper pink. So yeah, it's all just kind of making it a little bit deeper. We're going to do the lower lash line after, but I just wanted to get the top done first. So then I'm actually going to go in with this ColourPop shade in Fortune Cookie. It's this like really deep pink shade, and I'm going to take it on a Luxie 205 brush. And I'm just going to... Too much. I'm going to pack that right on the outer corner because we want this to be the darkest shade that we use because I'm actually going to go in with some of the ColourPop glitters. So we're just building it up and blending it out. So it's all blending nicely together. Just kind of adding all those layers of eyeshadow really helped because you're not just going to go in with like one color, you're gonna go in and you're gonna build it up, which is why we added all the extra colors. Okay, so before we go on to the 
glitter and everything I'm just gonna quickly take my brush that I used to put on my powder and I'm gonna clean up underneath my eye because I want to go in with a smaller brush to layer all the colors that we used on the top so that way the lower lash line is finished okay so I'm going to take where's my brush uh, this is a really flat brush from Morphe. I'm not sure the name of it. Um, it's one that came in like this diamond collection, but I'm going to take the exact same colors. So we're going to start off with the first one that we used, which is Say I Do, and we're just going to pack that on to the lower lash line. I really like any brush that kind of just packs on and you're not getting, um, you're not getting like too thick of a line underneath your eyes because you just want it to nicely blend um, and you don't want it to be like halfway down underneath your eye to make it look too dark so you just want something to kind of add that color which is this one's perfect for then we're gonna go back in with the wait for it color which is that peachy color so we're just gonna pack that one on and then we're going to go back into the Ring the Alarm palette and take Alert again, which is that orangey shade. Not too, too much. You just want a little bit enough to kind of make sure it all matches together. So we're taking this all the way to the inner corner because we want the color to go all the way. So that is that. And then we're going to go back in with the last shade, which is Fortune Cookie. And we're going to take that underneath as well now you can do this step as well if you want like while you're doing the upper like on your eyelids but I just prefer to do it at the end because then if I change something or I want to change how the rest of the eye looks you can adjust that afterwards so that's what it looks like without any glitter without anything going on so I'm gonna take some of this like um jelly eyeshadow from ColourPop and I don't want to get it all over my white sheets but I'm gonna take it and where did my flat brush there it is so I'm gonna try and take it on this Luxie 211 brush it's just this flat brush and I'm just gonna take some of it off the cap here and we're gonna see how this goes I don't know if it's better to use it on my finger but we're gonna try it's adding like a nice shimmer so we're gonna go all the way up as if you're gonna cut the crease you're gonna take it all the way up there whoop comes off in like clumps maybe it's better off to use your finger but I just don't really want to use my finger this so we're gonna take it all the way pack it on there you can tell the difference between the two eyes so I'm gonna take more of it and I'm gonna pack it on the other eye how cute are these glitters or these body or eye gel eyeshadow what are these even called jelly shadows so cute okay so I'm going to just quickly make sure that all that is dry before I go and uh, put that glitter on but I just want to show you guys kind of like a swatch of what the actual jelly shadow looks like so there it is right there it's a really nice like jelly shadow they have so many nice ones on the ColourPop website but I just think like this one was perfect for like a Valentine's Day look, so there. So this is, the glitter I got is Avenue of the Stars. This is this is a body glitter, but I'm assuming body you can put on your eyes. We're going to do it for this video because I think it's cool. So this is what it looks like in the pot. And then let's see if I can... So that's what it looks like. Come on. So this is what it looks like as the glitter. So it's literally like flecks of glitter. 
So we're going to see. I'm going to use the same brush just to see how it applies. I'm only going to take like a very, very little bit because I don't want. So we're just going to take a little bit on the brush. It's really nice because it like dry, it's clear. There's no base to the glitter. So cute. I'm going to take a little bit and put it, it's probably a little too much. Because why not? So there's what it looks like after the glitter. Just need to let it dry a little bit. While it's drying, I'm just going to go back in. I'm not adding any extra to the brush of that deeper pink shade. I'm purely just going to blend it out. As you can see, I'm getting glitter all over my face. And then I'm going to go in quickly off camera and just briefly do some lashes because I definitely think this look needs some lashes. And then we're going to come off and finish the rest of the base. Okay, so it just took me a solid like maybe 10-15 minutes to put my eyelashes on. But I just wanted to give you guys a close up of the eyes before we do the rest of the face. So I have my Velour Lashes and this is in the you complete me look uh, and then what I actually did is I took my Kat Von D tattoo liner and just quickly put a little bit of liner to make it look a little bit elongated in the corners and then I actually took a like a really dark shade you could probably use like a black eyeshadow and I took a brush and just like packed it underneath to kind of make it all look defined and then obviously I added some mascara for this one I used the hourglass caution one and then for my bottom lashes because I didn't want to use this one I used the pixie uh, lower lash uh, mascara I'm going to zoom you guys out so you can actually see uh, we're gonna do some contour we're gonna do some highlights and blush and we're gonna bronze up the face a little bit and then do some lipstick okay so the first thing that I want to do today is um, for the face is to just take some of this hula bronzer um, just to kind of make my face look a little bit more alive so I'm going to use my Jaclyn Hill uh, O2 brush by Morphe and I'm just going to buff it into the cheeks we're not, I'm not doing like a, a defined contour for this look because I just really want the eyes to be the stand out part of it. And obviously we're going to go a little bit extra on the lips today. Probably not something that I would necessarily pair with this look. But you know what? It's Valentine's Day. We can do whatever we want. And realistically, it's makeup. Be creative. Do whatever you want. So I'm just taking that same bronzer and I'm bronzing up my forehead just to bring my face to life a little bit because we want it to look a little bit more alive after that I'm going to go and I'm actually going to take this Morphe 8C cool pro it's basically like a whole bunch of blushes and I want to take the quo brush that I always use basically you can use any fluffy brush that you want and I'm going to go in with the shade um, it's girl first which is this one right here so we're just going to take that on this because I don't want to go like too pink just yet. I think that's the right choice because it just kind of like pinkens up the skin a little bit, adds a little bit warmth to it. I think that's perfect. And then we're actually going to go in with the Dose of Colors I Love Serai and Soul Soulmate, Soul Matte. And I'm going to actually take the Morphe X Bretman um, brush from the palette that they have. And I'm just going to take it a little bit on here. And I'm going to fan it over my cheeks. Just to kind of highlight them a little bit. I don't normally use a fan brush. But it's kind of nice for like a lighter highlight if that's what you're going for. Or... A super extra highlight which is nice okay so next I'm actually going to go in with a lip gloss I was going to take like a red lipstick but I feel like we're not really wearing red today and I think a lip gloss would look a lot better so this is jazzy by dose of colors so I'm going to apply this it has a color to it which I like and you can also add it like on top of another lipstick 
So there is the final look. I'm going to do a zoom in for you guys so you can see everything else. I think this turned out absolutely amazing. I love the ColourPop jelly shadows and the glitter and I love everything. I love the fact that you can layer the glitter. I wasn't really sure how I was going to feel about it at first but I really do like it. So if you guys like these like super extra makeup looks or me testing out some products that you maybe don't necessarily know how to use, then let me know in the comments below. And that's it. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. We will do a close-up so you can see up close of the eyeshadows. And then uh, that'll be it. So I hope you all enjoyed. And make sure to subscribe down below before you leave. Give this video a thumbs up if you like these makeup tutorials. And I will see you all in my next one. Bye!